Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. I had a lot to do this one day, and so I thought I would bring you guys along with me. We've got a lot of stuff in the kitchen. I had a lot of baking things that needed to get done, along with some other pampering and organizing. So the night before, I actually prepped all of my ingredients just to kind of make life a little bit easier. I do have an almost three-year-old who keeps me busy. And so in the case where I wasn't going to be able to have my parents help watch her, I wanted to make sure that all of the ingredients were measured out so that she could help me pour them in the bowls and mix them. And I just wouldn't be stressing over you know, miscounting or forgetting an ingredient or anything like that. Luckily, I was able to have my mom watch her for most of the day when I was baking, so I didn't have to really worry about that. But this is also just very helpful if you aren't sure you have all your ingredients or you're not sure if you have enough. That way you don't mix anything and then realize that you really can't finish your baking. So I pretty much had everything measured out except for two ingredients that needed to be still in the fridge. So I just made a little list of what I needed to do and the cakes that I wanted to make so that I wouldn't forget in the morning and that was a wrap that night. The next morning I broke into my newest addition to my baking essentials, some silicone baking pans or you know baking molds. I washed those, they were an Amazon order for me and they arrived early, thank goodness, because I wanted to use them this day. And I just got the rest of the ingredients that I needed to get to start baking. So this cake that I'm making here is actually one that I've shared on my channel before in a straight recipe video. It's like three minutes long and they are these chocolate cheese chip cupcakes. So it's like a chocolate cake with a cream cheese chocolate chip mixture that goes on top and it is such a yummy recipe. I'm actually making a double batch of the chocolate cake and I will later be making a quadruple batch of the cream cheese topping because we just love the topping so much we have to have more of it. In addition to making cupcakes, I decided to use the chocolate cake batter to make a nine inch cake because I had a mishap so a couple videos ago, I shared how I was making my favorite chocolate cake and I was making like a quadruple batch of it and storing some layers away for when I would need it next. Well, one of those layers got damaged in the freezer and I was planning on making a three layer cake here. So I needed to replace that missing layer. So I figured, well, I'm making a chocolate cake anyways. It's not the same chocolate cake but it will do. So that is why I am making a nine inch cake round there. And I'm using my small molds to make a personalized mini cake for my niece for her birthday, instead of just giving her a plain old cupcake.
Here I'm just preparing what will be the center layer of the mini cake for my niece and then assembling the rest of these little chocolate cheese chip cupcakes. Again, if you'd like to give this recipe a try, I will link the video down below in the description box and up in the cards for your convenience as well. I was so excited to get these little molds um, just because they're adorable and small, but also it makes it easier to really kind of trim off the tops and make them nice flat layers, which is something that was great. And they also pop out really easily out of the molds as well. But after that was done or in between my baking and decorating, I needed to clean up. I was going to be using a lot of bowls and a lot of kitchen utensils and it was just easier to kind of clean as I go, especially since I needed to reuse some of these materials for my future recipes. But before I started cake decorating, I went ahead and made myself a little coffee smoothie using this Cafe De Vida Mocha mix. I think you can get it at like Winco or Costco. This big one is definitely from Costco. I've also seen it in Walmart. I really love this and I, it's something that I kind of still enjoy while pregnant, even though I'm kind of not drinking my espresso drinks. But I wanted to have something that would make my cake decorating even more enjoyable, especially if it didn't go as planned. I was actually going to be trying a new technique on a cake, and the last time I did that, I wasn't too happy with how it turned out. It was the American flag cake, if you guys watched that video. But I wanted to have something to make it just a little bit more enjoyable. So here I am making the buttercream and taking out my little cake stand so that I would be ready for decorating once the frosting was all done. So this frosting was a little soupy because it was warmer in our house so that went in the fridge and I just used a little tiny bit of it to assemble my niece's birthday cake. Uh, like I said this is the same cake and the same cream cheese chocolate chip kind of filling that would go in a cupcake but I just thought it would look cute if it was just like a little three layer cake for her and I later on add a little bit more embellishments just to kind of spice it up a bit. But I popped that in the fridge because like I said, the frosting was still a little warm, probably too warm for decorating. But once it was a little bit more firmed up, I decided to assemble my cake. I added my cake that I baked that day uh, on the bottom and then the two cake layers that were unaffected by the freezer mishap. I took them out frozen and assembled my cake uh, with them being frozen. They were very moist and really great once the cake was fully decorated and when we cut into it the next day. But I just gave it a little crumb coat, popped it in the fridge to let it firm up a bit, then coated it with a nice coat of this blue buttercream. And then I had some vanilla frosting that I had previously made that was left over and was white. So I just did a little coat on the bottom and then the top leaving a little crater and this creates what's called a fault line cake and I also used some little edible gold paint from Michaels to decorate the little ridges of the fault line.
but before I went ahead and painted the little edges of the fault line, that had to go back in the fridge to firm up. And this wasn't planned, but I ended up making some little vanilla cakes for what you could say is in my first order as a little baker. Uh, I have a friend whose uh, granddaughter was turning one and they wanted a little smash cake. And I was like, I can make that. So this was the final results. I was really happy with how it turned out. It was a fun little cake to make. But anyways, back to the fault line cake. Uh, here's the little paint pen. I did twist it open over a little bowl because I read some reviews where the edible paint just like totally spilled out. So I didn't want to have a mess. But for me, this worked out really well. I was a little not too impressed with the gold color. I think it looked a little too yellow orange it was too bright for me i think i was hoping for something a little bit more subtle something like a gold leaf look but it's all okay it worked out in the end and then once i popped that back in the fridge i just modified the frosting to make it like a two-toned darker shade of the same blue and use this to pipe it on the top of the cake. I'll show you guys my little inspiration photo here. I didn't have all the extra embellishments to do what they did on top, so I just kind of kept it simple and piped little dollops on the top all the way around and then filled in the little crevices between each dollop with some more white frosting. To do the little white frosting dollops, I just added some tape to the end or corner of a Ziploc bag to make it a little bit more firm and then cut off just the corner. And this made just some cute little dollops on the top of my cake without having to break open another pastry bag. But the next day, this is what the cake looked like when we cut into it. It was delicious. Everybody loved it. You can definitely tell there's two different types of chocolate cakes, but that's okay. So I was finally able to check off the two cakes that I wanted to make. And it was then time to take a break and sit down because I was exhausted. And I wanted to do my nails. They were kind of, you know, they were a little sad looking. So I have this fun, it's like just add sun. Uh, nail polish that I got from Walmart and in the indoors it's just this clear glitter paint but you'll see in a second when I walk outside it does turn like a pinkish red and I only used one coat so I'm assuming that if I added a second coat it would be slightly more opaque. But once my nails were dry, it was time to kind of tidy up and clean up. Aubrey was trying to help me, and then she just wanted to get into everything, so that made it a little bit more difficult. But I tidied up as best as I could with her distracting me and shoving packing bubbles up the back of my shirt. And then once that was done, it was time to get some footage for my crafting channel. I had been meaning to film a little measurement uh, clip because I'm gonna be making faux leather utensil holders. So I needed to film that. I put Aubrey to bed and then it was time to clean up her disaster of an area with all her toys. So I organized that and it took a little while, but it was nice to just kind of, for the most part, sit down and tidy.
I know this won't last, but it was nice to kind of tidy up as best as I could and kind of regroup some of her toys and recategorize them. But that wrapped up my entire day. I was surprised I was able to get this all done. And I'd really like to thank you guys for watching this video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.